Vice President Kamala Harris is back on the campaign trail today, laying out her economic ideas in her first policy speech as head of the Democratic ticket. Former President Donald Trump is already taking shots at the proposals. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. With the economy top of mind for voters, Vice President Kamala Harris will outline her proposals to tackle inflation in North Carolina this afternoon, an issue she's begun to address on the campaign trail. On day one, I will take on price gouging and bring down costs. Her policy plans include calling for the first ever federal ban on price gouging for food and groceries, new policies to spur home building, offering up to $25,000 for first-time home buyers to use as a down payment, and an expansion of the child tax credit, providing as much as $6,000 to families with newborn children. Her proposals would require congressional approval and already face pushback from some Republicans and mixed reviews by economists. Why hasn't she done it? Former President Donald Trump at a news conference Thursday blamed Harris and Democratic legislation for rising costs. She cast the tie-breaking votes that caused record inflation. She cast the votes. She's trying to blame Biden, as you know. So it was Biden, but I'm going to do a better job. But it was her. Trump also and released financial disclosures job, Thursday, revealing that his biggest source of income remains his real estate. The documents also show his stock shares of Trump's Truth Social Media Company are estimated to be worth around $2.7 billion at the stock's current price. He's also invested between $1 and $5 million in cryptocurrency, and he owes more than $100 million in liabilities from bonds connected to three civil court cases he lost in New York. Natalie Brand, CBS News, The White House.